Hello, this is a video request for Chris. Chris is a young man going to college or contemplating going to college and he wants to know the difference between we well, should be an electrician or should become a computer, uh, what is it, not engineering, computer science. So we right. yeah, Chris writes. Hello, Mr. Clary. Thankfully, I have read your book, Worthless, and believe you have saved me from a terrible career in finance. There we go! Preventing you from making mistakes. This is why we have Asshole Consulting, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, just 20 bucks. And, oh, what? The book is only 12 bucks. 12 bucks. Save them a lot. Okay. Yeah, it was going to go into finance. Ho, oh, oh, ho. Did I save your ass? I need some advice on become, whether becoming an electrician or a computer science major would be best for me. A little context for you. I'm 18 years old, attending a local community college in central Illinois. I have 4000 to my name and receive no financial aid from my parents and government. However, that's only college costs. I still live at home and my parents pay for insurance. Every yeah, milk that. Do that. I mean, don't worry about the girls. You can always get a hotel. It'll be cheaper than having your own place. I still live in da, 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 da. Just don't have enough money to help pay for the cost of college. I basically see two paths worth taking and see pros and cons with each and was hoping for you to give your opinion on which one is better and answer your question about it. Electrician. Is it better to go union or independent? I would say independent. Um, you can get union, but in the end, you're going to want to be your own boss. So down the road, I mean, you could get, you can work for the union. You can, you don't have to, but um, having a trade means like you can open up your own shop and sell your good quality. You can get your own clients, and you don't have to pay your boss anything. It all comes to you. Um, is it hard to move around the country with a trade? No, you just go where the demand is. Um, some states like California, New Jersey, or other shitholes will have some kind of legal barriers put up regulatory barriers like you must have this certification da, 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 da. don't bother working in those places Bakken Oil Hill they'll hire you like that go down to Louisiana they'll hire you like that so um, you know find out where the jobs are they'll do that is there enough money to support a family uh, yeah after a little bit yeah um, keep in mind don't you know, have a budget don't don't buy a fucking $450,000 cookie cutter home out in the burbs you know find something modest and small you could do you could do the wiring you could do the electricity uh, but not a big family, but you can do it. Um, is there? Do they have steady income? Depends on you. I mean, you can you can work for a company and then you'd have steady income, or you got you go out there and you hustle and and you you do your own thing and you build up a clientele and uh, uh, hopefully you do have steady income. Positive zero debt and earn money while learning. Positive job outlook. Positive work my hand. Positive opportunity to start my own business. Yep, yeah, there you go. Negatives afraid of not having. A degree. Duh, don't worry about that. You you look at all those kids who have degrees now and they're fucking unemployed or underemployed and they have student debts. I mean, electrician, don't don't worry about that. You can always go back to get your degree. Do You always can. And I think with electrician, being an electrician, you actually fundamentally understand electricity probably better than a kid who's reading a, a theory in a book and a, and, a, and a layout. So you can always go back to be an electrical engineer and probably do better. It'd be easier for you the next two years because you understand electricity. Uh, if I can't get an apprenticeship, I'm not sure how to get in the field. Oh, go to the Bakken. Go. There'll be a place. There'll be a place. You got just got to be willing to move. Computer science. Are there too many people going into it? Yes. Yeah, some some of our IT agents in the field have, have said that computer science is too theoretical. You want computer engineering. Computer science is a bit theory and not enough practicality. Uh, pause. A good starting salary. Yeah. Way into the future. Yeah. Negative student loan debt. Yeah. Tolerable, but you won't really enjoy it. Yeah. I honestly, I think, you know, while no matter what path you think is better, should I get an associate's degree anyway since it's two years of college at a really cheap price? And I really want to move out of Illinois. Yeah, don't live in Illinois. Fuck Chicago, man. Fuck those communist fucking scum that vote the rest of the state to support that that cancer cell. Um, get out of Illinois. There's no reason. Uh, finish school apprenticeship. Any ideas to live, particularly from electrician and software development? Yes, um, I would say, I can't tell you everything. You have to make these decisions yourself. But based on what you're telling me, the electri electrician way is to go for the reasons you lay out here. And again, you can always go back to computer engineering, get a computer engineering degree. You can always get your electrical engineering degree. It doesn't sound like you're really excited about computer science. You know that it'll start. But truthfully, unless you want to become like super rich, and even then, electrician is a way to do it. You can hire other electricians, get a big company going. Uh, in, in due time. Um, but yeah, I would say the electrician route, more directly employable. You could pretty much move wherever you want. I personally hate the cold, even though I hypocritically live in Minnesota. So I would be looking at Florida, Texas. Um, young people, I think, should go to Colorado. I think that would be the funnest place to go. You're, you're going to pay taxes, but I think Denver and the mountains and everything is fucking, it's a great place for young people to be. Um, I like Phoenix, uh, but again, you got to pay state income taxes. Whatever you do, avoid Ohio, 
uh, I think Pennsylvania, any places that have state and local income tax, and you got the three fucking income tax forms, federal, state, and local, fuck that shit, you don't go there. Let old people who voted in that fucking communist shit pay it. You don't. The future of America, go to Texas, go to Florida. I like South Dakota, no state income taxes there. Again, there's always the Bakken oil field, but there are other places opening up. So, yeah, man, uh, travel a little bit, you know, visit a place, live there. For, I know it costs money. But go to a place and at least check it out before you move there, okay? It's very important. Unless you just purely care about money, then, yeah, North Dakota is boring as fuck, but you can, you'll can you make a lot of money. Anyway, hope that helps and uh, helps any other kids out there contemplating electrical engineer. Or I'm sorry, becoming an electrician or going to uh, college. Toodles. <laughs>